सो हेलो फ्रेंड्स एंड वेलकम बैक टू अन द वीडियो आई एम रियली वेरी वेरी सॉरी टू ब्रिंग अ वीडियो इन सो मच डिले बिकॉज ऑफ सम रीजन आई वॉज नॉट एबल टू क्रिएट आवर वीडियोज बट नाउ आई विल पोस्ट सो दे मे बी सम डिले इन वीडियोज बट इन टूडेज वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू नो अबाउट अ न्यू थिंग कैन यू गेस वॉट हैव यू हर्ड अबाउट फ्लटर यू मे बी हर्ड दैट्स अ प्रोग्रामिंग लैंग्वेज मेड बाय गूगल which is used to build android desktop and ios app also so that is a very uh, cro- um, unique and cross platform language however i don't know about it i don't know how to use that but i have seen its example and demos which are really really awesome so here it's a very very good news for our python developers we not we need not more to work with tkinter for guis uh, and some loose guis only now we can work with fleet and we can even make apps for mobile and desktop and um, ios phones also in python yes you heard it right we used kiwi but we can also use this module named fleet which is the mix of python and flutter so this is really really helpful so if you want to know more about it you can visit its website fleet fleet.dev this is the official website of it so you can see how we have written just the python code import fleet just for example image here and just do some minimum things and you have created a very beautiful counter app uh, which is uh, which uh, of flutter in python even so it is really really amazing so one more thing that it is it gives an idea of uh, apps in minutes means it makes the apps in minutes it easy to use it is powered by flutter as you can see it can be delivered to any device windows mac os linux any device okay and it is used in python also in go and c++ it may be used but it's going to come soon but now it is being used in python so that's a really really good feature of it is battery included also means it does not need any sdk means if you install flutter on your device flutter computer uh, sdk on your device to compile the code then it would uh, need some space about 5 gb which is too much so it does not need anything just a simple pip command and you can use it with python and it's really much more easier than flutter i would say so let's see how we can uh, work with this and uh, we will create a demo app which will display the hello world message and we'll try to add a button there so i will meet you right after the intro so we have created a main.py file here main.python file so to first of all to install it you can just come here to the terminal and go to new terminal or else you can come here and go to just cmd and you will get the command prompt from where you can do the same so i'll just increase its size okay so now you can type here pip install fleet just a simple command nothing else is needed yes you can see i have already installed so it's saying Uh, requirement already satisfied if it would be not installed on your pc then it's going to install it and that's it we have set it up the fleet on our python com- interpreter so now we can work with it so now let's write a line of code first of all of course we need to import um the library so let's say import fleet as ft ft would be a short one So now I would create a main function here, which is important. Means we are going to define a main page here. Okay. I created a main page here, and in this page, okay. So we need to give it as main is a page. So we'll define here the brackets page to ft dot page. Since we are uh, saying to the fleet, fleet library that main is not a function but it is a function of a page of the Flutter of the fleet app. 
so we uh, we have done this now we can write whatever we need in this space so you can create many pages here div for me div home div contact and any other pages you can create now we'll set it uh, okay so now let's just Okay, now I will assign its page width and height first of all. Page dot window length. Sorry, width. Window width, which will give I will give as four hundred. And here I will give uh, its height. Page dot window height okay. and I will also give it to seven hundred pixels. Done. Sorry for this. Done. Now let's pack the app. Means we will just pack the app as we do in um. Um, picking that if you have noticed then we give that root dot main loop and then the app is packed so now let's pack this app also by the command ft dot app inside the brace we can give target target is equal to in. okay so you can see i have given ft dot app the app has been packed this is the total app code and the target is equal to main what does this mean means the target of the app main page whenever the app will be started the main page will be this main function only okay we are defining that here if you have defined anything like define home then you can also give it like target home if you want to show it on the startup so now let's run and see whether it's working or not it should work by the way so you can see this loading it may take uh, some time so let's wait it's taking a bit longer let's rerun the program I'm just fast forwarding the video. Okay, so I guess we need to add some more code than only is going to work. So we'll add some more. Okay, so now we have, okay, so now we have uh, given the code so it's nothing we have assigned here the width and the height as you know um, after that we have just given the horizontal alignment to center and the vertical alignment to center and then we have simply added a label or text in the page which displays the hello world and its size is 9, um, 30 so now let's see whether it's running or not I don't know why it's taking so long to run on my PC it should not okay so you can see here it's done for showing the loading animation because nothing was there 
you can see this is a simple app which displays the hello world message here you can see if i run it again you can see here it's really really very awesome you can also set it to a uh, dark mode or light mode so if i go to here in my settings and uh, now i will go to my personalize now let me set it to light mode suppose my pc is in light mode you can see this app is also in a light mode make it here and this here suppose and if i make it to dark mode again you can see it has converted into dark mode so it will also work with android device also if it is an android device then it's also going to work with like that only if the uh, it's if it is like that only so you can create many apps uh, like this only in the next upcoming video short video i am going to show you that how you can give a very really good looking text inputs many text inputs option are available in fleet uh, by using fleet in python only so i hope you enjoyed this video and this video is uh, means this app is really really very amazing i love this app personally if you like this uh, video then please subscribe and like to my channel and let me know in the comments that uh, did you like this uh, fleet or not is it helpful for the programmers and you of course and let me know in the comments in the next video we are going to know that how we can create and text input so stay tuned for it thank you bye bye